Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Michelle and in this video we are going to talk about academic years and grading periods. As an admin you would need to set up your academic years. So I'm going to take you to tools, classes, grades and reports. And then we'll click on settings. And then we're going to click on grading tab. And here we can add our academic years. So we're going to click over here on the right on Add Academic Year. And then you're going to name your academic year and you're going to give us your start date and when your academic year ends. So let's put in our academic year here. And then we'll give a start date and you can click on the calendar picker. and then an end date. You could type in the date if you want or you could just scroll through the calendar picker. And then we're going to say save. Okay, so when you set up an academic year we automatically put in one period for you. So if you have quarters or trimesters or semesters you can create it that way. So we're going to go ahead and click on one existing period and you could see here that we've titled it first period and it starts on your start date of your academic year. The period name is, um, you can edit it, so let's edit it to semester one. And then we're going to add a new period here on the right hand side. And now we're going to say semester two. And this start date, we're going to choose when that starts. So maybe it starts in January and then we'll save it. So now we have two semesters, semester one, semester two. You'll notice that semester one you cannot edit the date because we pull that from your academic year when it starts. And we don't ask you for a finish date, that way we make sure you don't skip any dates in between while you're picking your semesters or your quarters. So according to your second semester a uh, date that you choose 112 we know that semester one ends by the 12th. In order for the academic year periods to work with your classes you'll then need to go into your tools classes and I'm just gonna pick um, actually I'll just do a select all and I'll bulk edit my classes and then I'll scroll down and I'll choose the academic year to be 2021 and then I will save changes. So let's take a look and see how this looks on the side of the teacher instructor. So I'm going to log out of the administrative site and click over onto the member side. I'll go to the classroom dashboard and I'm going to click on chemistry and scroll down on the class home page and click on grades. Here we have Ricky Ball. I'm going to click on download report and open it up. And you'll see in the PDF that we do have the overall performance with the cumulative grade and I have this broken down into categories. So right now I have labs that are being corrected. And then down here you see your period performance and we've chosen to use a semester one and a semester two. So at the end of semester one we'll start calculating your semester two grade. If you have any further questions please contact Homeschool Life through your administrative site and creating a ticket.